Hi guys! So it is what? Friday, January 17th. 17 days, no sugar, yay! Again, I'm not feeling all that great this morning, so um, I thought you might be interested since I'm showing different kind of springy ideas for my collection. i um, showing you my bronzers. Ooh, that'd be fun, huh? So again, other than my... Ooh! Uh-oh, I didn't try a multiple. There's a multiple here that I didn't know was in here. <laughs> we have to try that out. Um, so I showed you my MAC MSFs, MAC blushes, my highlighters. Um, I think I'll include some of my MAC bronzers in here just because there's just a few. But um, let's see what's in here. How exciting. I love bronzers, too. I love cheap products. They're so much fun to collect. You know, makeup is really fun. Number one, it's just fun. It gets, it, you don't have to think about world peace, and which is very deep, and problems in the world and other things. It's just fun. Um, also, you know what? No matter what size you are, makeup fits. That's what I love about it. <laughs> I can be totally... Uh, mad and frustrated about my weight and my size and whatever and nothing fits in the store but makeup always fits I love that so okay bronzers I'll start with my ones I use pretty much every day okay so you guys have seen this a lot my Mac nude on board pro Longwear bronzing powder I've been using this this is from the hey sailor collection but they did come out with it I think last summer I wonder what this summer is gonna be Ooh, I'm so excited I love the summer collections from Mac so <clears throat> this is a great everyday bronzer that I use um, and I really love it I have really pale skin so just depends what tone my skin is at particular season here is another one from the hey sailor collection this was soft sand and this is just bronzing powder whereas nude on board is a pro long wear let's look at the differences in color we might have to divide this up into different parts so this is nude on board and this is soft sand so soft sand is this is soft sand. This is nude on board. So soft sand is, is lighter. Well, actually, oops, nude on board, soft sand, huh? Actually, nude on board looks lighter. They're just a different formula. They're probably pretty similar, and I do interchange them. They're just a little di different formula. The, um, Soft sand that's not the prolonger has a little glitter in it, whereas the nude on board it doesn't. They're pretty interchangeable for me. Um, of course, we have the Re Re Loves MAC Bronzer, which I wasn't going to get because I thought I had enough. Love Rihanna Bronzer, but it is truly beautiful. It really is. And it goes on like a dream it blends like a dream I think it's a different formulation than their usual bronzers because it is soft finely milled blends like a dream amazing and it looks great on my complexion I'm sure it looks great on a lot of people's it is really beautiful if you can get your hands on it and you like bronzers I would recommend you do it it is it is really a beautiful wonderful formulation uh, I have showed you before my Too Faced Sun Bunny bronzer which I use as a contour which I just bought this year and I just love it love it love it love it use it every day if I want to contour here is the oldie here uh, Stila SPF 15 bronzing powder shade 1 um, what website Beauty Crunch has Stila products really really cheap and I bought a bunch many couple many years ago and some of them worked out great some of them were too old and dried out but so it's kind of a mishmash but this I think was one of them from that so let's, let me see what this it's really fair kind of orangey 
Let's see. I don't use this much. It's very light. Um, but it's very fine. I, don't, I haven't used it, really. You can't, I can't even tell that I've used it. Um, another one I got from, I think that site came with a kit. They have these Stila kits on sale. And this one I really love. It's the Stila, it's kind of like a convertible color, bronzing duo in marigold. I didn't use this much. I tried it though this summer and it was beautiful. There's a kind of darker side which I can use for contour and a shimmery side that can be used for bronzy highlighty. In fact, when I tried it, for the first time after I bought it many, many years ago. I just tried it like last summer and I thought it was so great that I bought a backup. I went on one of the websites and bought a backup. And I think it was pretty cheap too. Let's try this. Oh, it's cream. The bronzer is a cream bronzer. I need some contour here. Which is great for the summer. Because I sweat so much, I sw I'll sweat off my makeup if I don't. So it's really easy to blend. And let's try the illuminator side, the illuminator. I have a gold, a gold sparkly. It's, it's, they're both cream. <laughs> Can't tell right now, but when I tried it in the summer, I was really impressed. Here's another one from, I think that same website. I went on a hog wild one year, bought a bunch of the kits. They, again, some of the products were really old. In fact, one of them, I think it was this, um, fell out of the pan. I had to glue it back. This is a nice shimmery um, illuminating bronzing finishing powder called Rose Gold. But I keep it in bronze with my bronzers because it's <clears throat> kind of bronzy color. It's very shimmery, shimmery. Let's try it on. I have so much product on my cheeks right now. Very light fun to play with. Here's one I got way back, way back when, um, with the, I think that was, oh, those Style Warrior, I think, matte collection. It was kind of a fun color story, kind of jungly, wild, fierce. Packaging, eh, I was not too great about, but this is, this was many years ago. It's one of the first MAC bronzers I ever got, so I really didn't know what I was doing or what I liked, but this is Solar Riche. And I don't like it. And I haven't liked it at all. I don't know why I thought I liked it when I bought it. But it was so long ago. I didn't know what I was doing with my makeup. But it's kind of a reddish, very dark. It's just, I don't know. The color does not work with my skin at all. It's kind of reddish. Here, let's try it out. Maybe, you know, under certain um, skin tone conditions it would look okay. But usually when I've tried it, I've hated it. So it sits in the back of my bronzing drawer. It's just more red, and I don't I really don't like red bronzers. Okay, that's those. Oh. I got lots of cheek products. How fun. On my face. Okay. This one it was an Estee Lauder Summer Collection, Bronze Goddess Collection, a few years back. And Amber Bronze Medium. This is a huge compact. Like, here is my MAC regular size bronzer. And here is the Estee Lauder. So really huge, which is kind of cool. There's 0.74 ounce I don't know what the Mac has. I can't read it. But it's a huge compact. A lot of product. And I was really impressed when I bought it at the time. I thought it would be really good. Um, it, it was a good match. I, don't, I haven't worn it much, though. 
I think because it's kind of light, kind of faint pigment. I don't know. It looked really good on me at the time, though. I haven't worn it much. Um, here's an oldie. This was one of the first makeup items I bought, high-end Young Blood, many, many, five years ago. One of the first high-end makeup products I bought. Um, this is kind of a fun one. It's called Sundance Mineral Radiance. And um, I loved it when I bought it. Now it's a little red in shade for me, but it's really, it's really nice. It's very nice product. It's very, uh, you can, you know, use different shades. And um, it's a little red, but it's a uh, kind of shimmery, very finely milled. It's fun to use. Um, how much time we have? I think I'm going to turn off this part and do a second part. Okay.